Now, breaking news from NBC4. And that breaking news, after seven weeks of federal court hearings, two Ohio politicians have been found guilty in a $60 million pay-to-play scheme. We thank you for joining us for First at Four. I'm Jared Smalley. And I'm Jennifer Bullock. Let's go to NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami. She joins us live and has been following this trial very closely. Natalie. Jennifer Jarrett, after nearly 10 hours of deliberation, the 14 person jury has found both former Speaker of the Ohio House, Larry Householder, and former Chairman of the Ohio Republican Party, Matt Borges, guilty of racketeering. Both men now face up to 20 years in prison, but neither were taken into custody today. They're accused of taking bribes from First Energy in exchange for both the passage of a billion dollar bailout bill and help upholding it when it faced a referendum. The prosecution says Householder sold the State House and Borges was a willing co-conspirator. The prosecution spent those several weeks laying out the case with text messages, emails and wiretaps, even alleging that Householder was not truthful when he took the witness stand as part of his own defense. When reporters asked U.S. Attorney Kenneth Parker what the verdict tells other elected officials, here's how he responded. What does this tell other elected officials? That the public trust is not for sale. There's no official sentencing date yet, but again, both these men face up to 20 years in prison. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fahmy, NBC4.